Dudes and dudettes, we are gathered here today to witness the maintenance of a Suzuki SV 650 S. And what year is this model? 2006. 2006 SV Suzuki. Something less ancient than the Harleys. Yeah, this is a lot modern. I think this is the newest bike we've had so far. Right, this is Mr. Uh, M's bike, his daily drivers, and he put a lot of kilometers on here already, a lot of miles, around 30 or 40,000 kilometers in the last year, I think. 30. Mm, 38,000. 38,000 in one year. That means it's time to clean the oil, oil filter, air filter. He also wants to do the sprocket and chain. He wants to replace the Lock. locks and the ignition lo um, housing. Tank and buddy. What tank and buddy? Tank and buddy. Oh, the the locks from the locks from the tank and the buddy. And uh, we'll try and show you the little glitches that we're going to run into that you have to pay attention to. So when you want to do your SV, you know what to do, and you don't have to worry about screwing up like what we're going to do tonight. Let's get to work. So uh, Mr. B's got his new gloves. Yeah, fresh new, new gloves. Gl fresh new gloves. He likes to work with gloves. Why do you like to work with gloves? What's wrong with getting your hands dirty? Nothing. Well, then why don't you get your hands dirty? I explained already. I work in medical. I need clean hands as a customer. Oh, yeah. So first we're going to get rid of all the plastic. And there's a lot of plastic on this thing. Uh, so we're going to have to unscrew it all, make sure we're going to find one certain place that we can put it all so we can all find it when we start putting it back together. <laughs> Good thing you guys didn't see what just happened. Is it there? Ah, oh, there. Come on. <laughs> Maybe if we're lucky, we can do it in one shot tonight. And that way we don't have to worry about uh, trying to find the parts anymore because we can get it finished. I don't think we can finish it all. Time. It's very important to do your maintenance on your bikes because if you don't, it's going to run out of oil, the chain's going to get screwed, either you're going to have a serious accident or your bike will break down and you spend even tons one? more money doing it, uh, buying another bike. Okay, so we have to flip the tank up and keep it up. And we're going to use a little bit of electrical wiring just to prop it up there. Now they're stayed up, we don't have to take it off. <laughs> Money we don't have, but equipment. So first of all, we do the spark plugs. It's a 16 mil. So when you want to change the spark plugs, which is what we're starting with, the first thing you have to do is remove the two bolts that are in front of the frame. They go here. Once you get those two out, all you have to do is tilt it up. These are just little Phillips screws. But they stay in the... Yeah. And they just stay on the filters. You can't lose them. Yay for us. Winning. <laughs> Yay for us. Yeah, that's pretty important that you can't lose your nuts and bolts. We've lost a few on the way in our lives as it is. <laughs> well, there's this little spongish thing that goes in there. That we just took out that's this thing and on the bottom there's still some and water residue so we took that out cleaned it up and now we put in the new filter it says up literally it's fun literally. that it goes now replace it screw it down and that part's done ah so that's the new ignition switch for the Lock. replacement replacement and again if we wouldn't be rbm if we didn't have to do things twice so now we remove the air box again so that we can have a clear view at the plug or the connector that's connecting the electrical for the ignition sw uh, switch out. Not the ignition switch housing, the key switch out. We figured out that, well at least we think we figured out that if you want to remove the ignition housing, you're going to have to remove the top bracket. And to uh, do... Sure. Oh, he's sure. Mr. Mr. B is sure that you have to remove the top bracket to get to the housing. Oh, jeez. Break my neck in this place. It's a little too small in here. If anybody has another place that we can go that's like three to four times as big as this place so we don't trip and break our neck. Very important. Cheap. Okay, uh, let's show us what we got here. We got the little anti-theft um, torques with the hole in there, right in there because it's got to go. Open it. Yeah. 
There's like, there's like, yeah. Very nice. That's when you have it's experience. Like a beer bottle. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Like, you don't. You have no idea what it's how, like to open a beer bottle anymore. Oh, I know. <laughs> I have a vivid memory of that. <laughs> so there you go. You pull out the old one. Flip. Uh, it still works. It still works. And then you put in the new one. It's gonna be different angle. Holding. <laughs> What are you doing now, Mr. B? I'm loosening off the radiator to get, right. so get access for the spark plug. Right. bit so you can get in there. I hope. I don't know. I've never done this before with this bike. Good. See, folks, just because you've never done anything before doesn't mean you can't do it. So all you have to do is try. Just loosen it up, see how far you get. Just remember where you put it. You do the trick. And then uh, you're done. So there, in 45 minutes, not even, yeah, about 40, 45 minutes, we have replaced the air filter. We have replaced the ignition housing. We have replaced the spark plugs. Well, now we got uh, our first our first attempt at starting it with the new key and ignition and plugs and air filter. Look at that, eh? When putting the tank back on, there's two little pieces of rubber that go right in the ridge of the bottom of the tank. Put them around the S of the Suzuki sign so that you got them even and that'll stop it from vibrating and hitting the uh, frame. So now we're going to replace a gas cap have, with uh, a key. And, uh, the and so Mr. Uh, M's taking a little smoke break. That's going so He's, fast. He it's keeps, he so keeps fast. saying, let's have a break, let's have a break. He wants to have a cigarette. No, but Mr. B stopped so smoking, hard. so he says, fuck it, let's keep working. <laughs> holding the lock assembly and normally you can remove it like this that's always a pain in the ass to get it just do right Through. Just a second, boys. Which way is yesterday? So we figured out we have a lock plate on there. That's why we can't get it loose. So let's loosen up the lock plate and then we can move it. <laughs> Something moved. No, oh, that was your block nut. There you go. With enough force and a good tool. A wood. A good wood. tool. A good tool. <laughs> <laughs> Got here is a chain kit for the Suzuki SV650. Enjoy your ride. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty tough class. It's childhood. Yeah, there you go. Where's the child when you use one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the old one. Oh. Out with the old, in with the new. Give it to the kids to play, play frisbee with. Okay. <laughs> kids, kids. Did you just tell him to watch out for his knuckles? Yeah. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I made a guess of 60. You made a guess of 61. It was I made 60. a guess of 61 Newton meters. We checked it and it was 60, so I was up one. Please you use ceramic. Did he do it wrong again, Mr. B? Yep.
right, folks, it's a premiere. We're gonna let Mr. M replace the link of the chain. And Mr. B is gonna instruct him on how to do it. Pay close attention, folks. This could be fun. we would not be RBM repair crew if we didn't have to do things twice so let me tell you a little secret that uh, we kind of did when you change the chain make sure to read the instructions even if you're on unless you're not new to this sort of thing like we've never done a chain a change on this thing so what we do is we order a chain specifically for this motorcycle and we put it on there not realizing that in fine print it says when you're changing the chain adjust the length so what we did was we put it all together and then realized that we did not adjust the length. So now we had to order a new link, shorten it to specs so that we have some, because now it's just at the very end and it's still too loose. So check the length before you start putting everything back together. chain is on there we've had a little bit of adjustment so that it's straight but what we have to do first before we start adjusting everything is tighten down the sprocket add a little bit of red loctite on it turn it on there don't forget your plate it's on there you also have a lock plate on there okay let's see this like I said earlier, you have to tighten it down to 145 Newton meter, which is 105 is foot pounds. Properly? Now that it's up to specs at the right torque, it's time to, this plate that's right behind me, have to flip two sides of it so that it can't turn. Clean up the clutch, adjustment thing, Mahuchi. Drop it on the floor. Test the gravity. Yeah, <laughs> test the gravity. We always have to make sure that the gravity is working because it's kind of, well, in this case, it's not hard to take it from the ceiling, but <laughs> apply grease. Super grease. Super grease. Super. Now that we have everything tightened down on the other side, it's time to tighten up the wheel. We've uh, measured out and it's exact the same tension that we just needed. It's 72 and a half foot pounds to tighten the rear axle nut. Oh, isn't it We're done. The SV650 of Mr. M is done. So you guys out there, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel because we love doing this sort of stuff. We love showing you what we're doing and we love letting you know that you can do a lot of stuff yourself. So stay tuned for the next episode. The oil will be changed, but I'm not gonna probably film with that. But what we're gonna... Oh, isn't it we're done.